So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. Okay, so now we have three choices. Um, I think I'd rather go to Crane's apartment, because I really want to get to the bottom of this. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. Crane's place is right here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles' office. Crane's penthouse number is 1903. Let me know what you find. I hope you know what you're doing. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Of course I know. I'm the, I'm the wolf! Alright. So now, let's take a look and see if we can find anything on our way. We gotta go to 1903. Which... It looks like... Oh, there's 1902. There's... The, whoa, his door's wide open. Uh, well, I wonder what happens if I examine them. This is Briar Rose's place. Okay. Whose is this? Snow said Crane lives in 1903. Yeah, I know that. I just wanted to see who lived where. Call out. <laughs> I don't need to call out. I'll just go in. Crane? One hour and 55 minutes left. Damn it. Must have missed him. There's got to be something about his witch here. Okay, so let's go ahead and start peeking through Crane's apartment. There. Oh, what's over here? Hmm. There's a note. My dearest Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. Watching you work, if I'm unable to control myself, it's because I love you. <sighs> what the fuck? What's in the envelope? Crooked man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week, Ichabod Crane. What's going on here? Confiscate the money or leave the money. I gotta, I gotta take that money. All right, get the key. Might be useful. Hey, so we got money and a key out of that. Alright, well, let's look at... What's the uh, statue? Oh, it's the Headless Horseman. Alright, let's look at this teacher pouch down here. This hasn't been used in years. I forgot. He used to teach in the old days. Who's that Jeremy guy? I saw it was from Jeremy. Okay, uh, the answering machine. Well, I'll examine it first. There's a message. Crane. Look, the crooked man is not happy compadre, and as much as I like making house calls, I have better ways to use my time. So, if you can go ahead and pay him by Friday, that would be great. Alright? Everybody can stay upright. In the meantime, leave the light on, pal. See ya! Oh, that's the light that's on right there. Okay, let's just check in the wine cabinet. Same brand we found in the open arms. Well, that's a good sign that points to Crane, because that doesn't mean that, you know, he was glamoured or anything. Um, what's back here towards the table? Nope, come on. These controls... Is there anything on the coffee table? Actually, it doesn't look like it. Uh, there's a few things over here. Oh! That scared me. Math, science, history. If I had to guess, this shit didn't work. The joy of lovemaking? What the fuck? I've never seen him that excited. Guess things have changed. I think that was probably King Cole. Uh, oh, what's this? 
He's a weirdo. All right. There's got to be something else, right? So we got to go down this hallway over here. Let's look at the his statue of his head. Really? Oh, I guess that was it then. Uh, anything over here? Oh man, this is his bedroom. I could kick it, I could use the key, I could knock, or I could open. Let me use the key. You gotta find out what this key goes to. Oh shit! Hey, stay where you are! <gasps> I, uh... Jack? Wow, it is just unbelievable running into you here. I mean, of all the places... This weather, right? A little damp, I guess. But, you know, some people like that sort of thing. Explain yourself. Now! Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. Oh, yeah. It's a stipend. But you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done... I don't see any plants. Hey! Oh, shit, we gotta get him! Okay! You got me. Just take it easy. Don't make a big deal out of this. Oh, I'm gonna punch I'd him. I'd like to keep all my teeth. Is this really fucking necessary? Start talking, Jack. Okay, okay. I heard Crane was leaving town. I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. A little Robin Hooding never hurt anyone, right? And you heard this from? What does it matter? I hear things. What else do you want me to say? I want you to tell me where he is. I got bills to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. So don't, you know, hit me again. Did somebody send you and tell the truth? No, it's just me. Just take it easy. <clears throat> oh, I'm hurting my shoulder. You know, this tortured, lonely pig eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? I mean, what's the point? I'm investigating. Sure. Well, looks like you've got it covered. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Oh, I don't think he's going anywhere yet. Bigby, I believe you're uh, blocking the doorway there. If I could just uh, squeeze through. You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. I may not know why you're here, but... If it's information you want, I'm the guy to ask. I know things. I could be really useful to someone like you. Go on. I'm listening. Look, I have some dirt on Crane you might be interested in. Word on the street says he's got a witch in the city. I can tell you who she is, if you're interested. Information comes at a price, though. But I'm sure you already knew that. How convenient. Convenient for you, Sheriff. I got the info you need. This is an easy win. Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. Come on. Uh, I want a deal. I want to take the deal. Fine. He got a deal. Perfect. Now tell me where I can find this witch. Strong grip. Her name is Auntie Greenleaf. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. I'm not sure what he's using her for, but if he's not going to the 13th floor, it's got to be something illegal. Where can I find her? Well, um, you see, uh, th the thing is, I don't know where you'd find her, exactly. Of course. You've got to be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean, that's more than what you came in with. Right. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. I think this arrangement can be beneficial to both of us down the line. 
<sighs> it was just lovely running into you, Bigby. Hang on a second. Oh, come on. Yeah, what's in the bag? There's gotta be something in there. Oh, there's a glamour tube! What? Why do you have this? The white deer. Do you always talk to yourself like that? Shut up, Jack. The witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. You find any more of these? Uh, no. You want to try that again? Yeah, that's what I thought. That it? Bigby? Are you still here? I'm here, Snow. <laughs> We're in here, Snow. We? Who else is... What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. What's going on? He's here to help. Jack had some information about Crane's witch. Oh, what did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fabled Town. <sighs> of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean... I guess it doesn't matter yet. Uh, I don't know. We still have to find him. I don't know. Maybe. Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. We're going to cut it close as it is. We have to figure out where he's meeting her. Wouldn't she be listed in the business office? I've had Buffkin searching for any unauthorized witches, but so far we haven't found anything. I'll give him the name, but we don't have time to wait around. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? We don't have much time. Oh man, now I have to choose another place. Um... Well, Holly was not thrilled to see me the last time, so let's go to D and Dumb's office. I'll go pay the Tweedle brothers a visit. I'm sure they know something. Okay. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Hang on, Jack. I want to talk to you. Well, he got caught there. Oh, hi, Bluebeard. Oh, no, I'm sorry, big guy. You can't come in. Yeah, yeah, because the thing is, and I don't know if you'd heard, but I'm a third-degree black belt and, uh, you know, whatever. So I wouldn't take any chances, hombre. Last guy who messed with me got his marbles kicked right through his abdomen, all right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. Hi, Sheriff. Flycatcher. What brings you here? Are you okay? Your face... Uh... Bluebeard was here. He was looking for something. I don't know what. He said it was an official investigation. But how was I supposed to know if he was telling the truth? When I wouldn't let him in, he... Shit. Found what he was looking for, I guess. It's just super annoying. What did he take? Oh. I don't know what he wanted. I, I didn't see what he did after... I'm really sorry, Big B. I feel bad for this dude. Was he telling the truth? He said you sent him, but I don't know. I just thought he was lying. I'm not supposed to just let people in here, but then he got mad, saying, oh, just terrible things. He was lying. I didn't send him here. You did the right thing. Okay. Good. Oh, I'm gonna get fired. Crane already let me go from the woodlands. Is that why you're here? He said I just got in the way. Told me to get lost. The twins offered me a job here working the night shift, so I'd have something. What do I do now? It's nice, you know, quiet. I come in and clean up. They're usually pretty nice, understanding. Dude, work for us! Well, Crane is gone now. I, I can't see why he couldn't come back to the woodlands. Really? That would be 
Thank you. Come by the business office. I can't make any promises. Right, of course. Look, I'm running out of time. Ah, oh, shit. Is everything okay? I gotta go. What? Where? I'm headed to the trip trap. Just, uh, just call Snow and tell her what's happened, okay? Can you do that for me? Okay, I, I guess. And I'll ask her about that job, all right? Sure, uh, sure. Take care of yourself, Fly. You too, Sheriff Bigby. Oh, wait a minute. Please don't let him be the murderer.